Well, hello everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. And today I'm gonna to show you what I'm gonna do with a chip and dip tray, a flower pot, or if you want to, you can use a bucket. So let's do this. So there's a bucket, it's all set up. Let me take you in and show you real quick exactly step by step how I put this together. It is so easy. And you'll see here exactly how this bucket went together in, in just a matter of minutes, really quick. And anybody, anybody can do this and it doesn't cost that much. So let's go in and see exactly step by step how this DIY was done to make a fun bird bath that's not gonna run out of water by the end of the day. So here it is. This is a chip bowl. It's a chip and dip bowl and it has a little center. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. So what we're gonna do is we're going to quickly and easily make a hole for the tubing. And I'll explain that as we go along. So I'm just gonna quickly draw something, and I could do it either top or bottom. It doesn't really matter. Let's see if this comes off. It does come off. I hadn't taken it off, so let's take that off. So we want to kind of make a circle in, in the center to give an idea of where our hole is going to be. You've probably seen me do a lot of these already, these solar fountains, but this is a plastic food bowl. This is for a chip and dip. We need just a bowl here. These are so cheap. You can get them at uh, dollar stores. You can get them anywhere, really anywhere. Bed Bath & Beyond, Walmart, anywhere you want to go. Any of your favorite stores. Just go ahead and see. What you will need are tubing. Tubing that will fit the solar fountain that you want to use. Now, if you want to use an electric one, that's totally up to you. I use solar in my yard for everything. And the kits come like this with all kinds of gizmos to add to it. So that's all you need. I've got one here open. So we're going to use an open one. And here I use my handy dandy soldering iron. If you want to use a drill, you can use a drill. So now all we're going to do is we're going to make the hole. I would prefer, if possible, to make the hole smaller because you can always make it bigger. But you know what? If you accidentally make it too big, do not worry about it. And I do do this outside because it is smoky with the plastic. Let's try that and see how this goes and see if this works. Now what I'm going to do is probably use some of the fun things that come with it. And it comes with all kinds of stuff. Every solar fountain I have found that I've bought has been slightly different just slightly so it doesn't really matter so now we've got the center and i think i'm going to put this down on the bottom so i do want to make this a little bigger if you made it too big you could just use a plastic bag or a bag or something and kind of mickey mouse it a little bit to put it in and don't worry there's all kinds of ways and even if it's too big it will still work let's see if i can get this in now that's it. Now I'm going to, well, no, I'm not going to unplug my soldering iron yet because we're not done. Now, before we get that all set up, I want to show you that this is going to fill as, and you'll, you've seen it in the yard. This is going to fill with water. So the main thing is we need to make sure, and see, I got this one at the thrift store. It was half price sale day. So I got this one for a dollar, but you know what? They only sell for a dollar or two new. And I thought it was so cute. So I bought it. Now, as this fills, you want to make sure that the water goes back into your bucket. So every bucket is a little different. If you're going to use, let's say, a flower pot and you put this on top, you want to make sure that the holes that you're making are going to go back into your bucket. So just be sure not to make holes too far out, because if you made it too far out, it would drip past your bucket. So you want to go closer into the center. If you wanted to, you could make some holes here. I am just going to make the holes around here. So let's make a bunch of holes. Every bucket's a little different because you can use a big bucket. And then you would do the same thing. Or you could use a smaller bucket. This is a two gallon bucket. And you can sit it on top. 
So the main thing is to make sure that the water is going back into the bucket. And since you may want to change it around, maybe you, you're going to start with a big bucket and then change it to a little one, keep the holes closer to the center of your chip and dip and just go all the way around. If you made too many holes and the water goes back too quick, it's better than it filling and running out. So don't worry about that. The birds don't want to be in super deep wa water anyways when they're drinking and taking a bath. So if the water runs out, they'll just sit on the bottom and splash. But I have found that on this particular case, more is better. So if you made too little and they got blocked up, then your water will run out and your bucket will be empty. That's probably enough, but I could do a couple more if I want. Because I want to make sure, it really pumps a lot of water. I want to make sure that the water is going to go back. So now I'm done with my soldering iron. I'm going to unplug it. I bring an extension cord outside to use it. And that is it. Now we're going to go back and do the center part right now. So with, with your pump, they come with all these things. And the main thing here is you're going to have to get your rubber tubing. Now I got this from an aquarium store, a fish store. And this is really, some, some of these come off and some of them don't. It really fits on pretty good. You could just, you know what, I'm going to make a nice clean cut because this doesn't have a clean cut on it on the tubing. So you may want to bring that little part with you to the fish store. So you've got that and this is going to go on your pump. Now remember the pump is going to be on the bottom of your bucket and that's all there is to it and this just goes tightly on. The other side you're going to use the other part which would be this part. Now you can use this just as it is in the center, or you could just bring the tubing up. If you chose to and you didn't want to use that part, for whatever reason, you could just bring this up just like that and it will work the same way. I'm going to use this and I'm going to set it up this way and I'm going to use one of these. Now, uh, let me tell you also that if the water's coming out too hard and too fast and it's going past your tray, it will empty. So you could always go back with your soldering iron, and I've done it before, try not to burn yourself, and you can make the holes a little bit bigger. By making them a little bit bigger, the water will come out more. Instead of spraying, it'll be more of a a spray kind of trickle up and because of that it won't shoot as far across. So I'm going to make some of these a little bit bigger. See and now it will be more of running, a kind of a running situation where it will run up but it won't spray everywhere. And now I will have the water coming up this way and I'll snap this on. I might even do one more. It doesn't matter. I just want to make sure that it's not going, you know, too far past because these do spray really far. See how fine the holes are? They're super fine. So it forces, and the pump it has a lot of force to it. So it forces the water through and some of these can shoot two, three feet. So this way I know that it's not going to shoot that far and the spray won't be that strong. So that's all there is to it. And now we're going to have to snap this on. I'm going to make sure this is clean. They are really tight. When they, you snap these things on, they are so tight. Okay. Now, you set this part up in here. And then you're going to cut the hose to the length of your bucket. So every single one will be different. And with this, generally these fit in really good. You have to work them a little bit. If yours is really tight and it doesn't fit into the center, then go ahead and dip this in boiling water. It'll get real soft and put it in that way. If it's too big, I've taken the soldering iron and I've run it inside a little bit if I have to go on the outside. There's different ways you can do it. Think about it and see which way works for you. But again, you don't want to cut these too short, so you want to make sure that this goes to the very bottom of the bucket 
and then your tray will sit on top of your bucket and that's all there is to it. The hardest part is just getting this set up and you saw this wasn't hard at all. Now it's just a matter of setting it out in the yard, hooking up your fountain to it, and finding a place for your solar panel in the sun. And you know what? This thing is running and I'm in the shade. It's amazing how these things work. They're so powerful. I'm in the shade and it's buzzing. So now that's all there is to it. It's so fun, so cheap. And you can pick out these and they come in all different colors or they come in plain. Another one I picked up at the thrift store, half price. This was like 50 cents. And see, it's just a snack. This one's called snack and dip tray. And this one was called a chip and dip. Now it's just a matter of setting up this part. We're going to make sure this is nice and snug, which it is. And we're going to cut it so it goes to the bottom. Now we've got this hooked up. We could make a notch on the side of the bucket for the wire, but you can make a notch. And let's, let's go ahead and see how this works. This fills up with water. Birds can sit here and now it's slowly filling up here and this gives them a nice shallow place to take a bath. Okay, let's go back to the garden. Well, now we're outside and the bucket's all done and we're gonna wait and see what happens. The sun is just starting to come up in my eyes. So I got it all together. It hasn't been out here yet. It's been out here an hour. I don't even think an hour. I'm watching all the birds all over here. There's, there's hundreds of birds. They want me to leave so they can come take their bath and come eat their food. But here's the bird bath. With this type of bird bath in a bucket like this, it doesn't matter if you're working all day, it's not going to run out of water. The water's gonna go back in the bucket. You can clean it whenever you think it's dirty, dump it out every few days if it looks really dirty. If you've got it in the shade and it's constantly running, it looks clean, do it once a, a week, whatever you want. But the water's gonna go back inside the bucket so you're not losing water. So when you've got five gallons, let's say you fill it up three gallons, it's gonna last. Your motor's not gonna go out. Your motor's on the very bottom of the bucket. You've got that pipe that you can pick up at an, any aquarium store. Bring the part with you, bring the motor with you so you can check it out to make sure it fits well. But it's just starting. The sun is just coming out. I got it set up. I put it on the stick I made that holds my solar panels now. And I'll have the video up for that too to show you how that's made. It's free, it doesn't cost me anything. The only thing that costs me is the stick, which are the tomato steaks that I get for so cheap. But you can use a stick, any type of stick you want. So let's step back and let's see what birds come to it. Now I do understand that when you've got fountains like I do that are, you know, regulars and they're comfortable with it, they're not gonna run to something new right away, but I might get surprised. So let's see, it's just starting the bubble. So let's see what happens. Let's leave. a sparrow, a, a, a house finch come, and the first birds that checked it out were hummingbirds. The hummingbirds came and they dived down and they checked it out. It was so cool. So we'll, you'll see it on my garden tours. I'm sure I'll be putting that up a lot. I'm gonna be putting a whole bunch. I've got a little one I'm working on here. Those chip and dip trays are so cheap. You can get them anywhere and they're so fun and you can use any container you want. 
You can use a bucket. I used the five gallon bucket that I picked up at Walmart and it's got a five. So it's basically food grade because a lot of your foods from the grocery store come in the little triangle five. So those are safe. Don't use anything with a three. Um, I would say a two, a four or a five, but that's a five. Some of them, if they're not marked, if you go to the dollar stores and they don't have a marking on them, I wouldn't use them because you don't know what kind of plastic they use. But there it is. You can use an aluminum big bowl if you've got, you can use anything you want. You can set it on top of a punch bowl, anything you want to set up. Right now, that one's on a bucket. So I am so excited and I'm going to be making a whole bunch more because these things, these chip and dip trays are just too fun the way the reservoir fills up and then it overflows right back and particles don't get in. So see, there's even so, uh, like seeds and stuff they've thrown in there. It doesn't get in. So it basically keeps the water fairly clean, as clean as could be. And it's running, which is always really good. So with that, I hope I gave you some ideas. Think out of the box. You'll probably come up with something even better than I did. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody. Here I added some rocks so the birds have some place to land on. That's all. And look how nice that is. So they can come here and feel safe that they've got a rock or even put a perch by it if you want, especially in the beginning. So they can see they have some place to come and some place to land to check out the water. And remember, especially in the beginning with new bird bass, it's really important on placement. And I do have a video on that. So I'll make sure I put the link to that one. So you know where to place the bird bath so they feel safe and secure to come in and use it. And here, they could just duck into the collard and into the sprouting broccoli and into the dazzling blue kale. And they can just dive down and use the bird bath and feel so safe.